Now, Macomb County voters just narrowly approved the millage for smart bus service, and by narrow, we're, we mean 39 votes out of the 155,000 cast. The Michigan Taxpayers Alliance, which fought the proposal, is ponying up nearly $10,000 to recount the votes. The group filed its request for a recount late this afternoon. I don't think that there's necessarily any funny business that went on, but this is such a close election. The closest countywide election in Macomb County history that 39 votes is one one hundredth of one percent. People have a right to know for sure. Well, now the Macomb County clerk will set a date and time for the recount to begin. That'll be likely in the next three weeks or so. Today in a New York courtroom, President Trump's former personal attorney, Michael Cohen, pleaded guilty to several charges, including campaign finance fraud. Cohen says he made payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels and Playboy model Karen McDougal at the direction of the president. He also says he submitted invoices to President Trump's company to be reimbursed for unlawful campaign contributions. While Michael Cohen struck a plea deal with federal prosecutors, President Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort was found guilty of bank and tax fraud. After days of deliberation, a jury found Manafort guilty of eight of the 18 counts against him. Uh, the jury, however, was deadlocked on the other 10 charges, and a judge declared a mistrial for those. We'll wait and see if prosecutors wish to try them again. Now, earlier this evening, President Trump commented on the guilty verdict. I feel very sad about that. Uh, it doesn't involve me, but I still feel, uh, you know, it's a very sad thing that happened. It's a witch hunt and it's a disgrace. Paul Manafort's case was the first case brought by special counsel Robert Mueller to go to trial.